it'll be, it'll be real simple. Okay. Okay. All right, first, I'm gonna start off with this. Which one of these look longer? Jail or red or blue? Blue, right? Obviously. Now which one? Wow. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Yeah. Red one now? Red one now. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So red, obviously. Now the blue. It's pretty wild, huh? Check it out. Exactly same size. It's pretty wild. You can keep those some of your buddies or whatever. Now this is a real This is a real question right here. Would you, would you consider yourself to be a good person? Uh, yeah. You're a good person? Okay, let me ask you a couple of questions to see if that's true. Okay? okay. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. Yeah, we all have, right? What would that make you? What would you be called if you told a lie? Liar. Yeah, liar. Yeah. Have you ever stolen something? You were small back in the day? Uh, when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What would you call if you stole something? Thief. Yeah, thief. I used to steal from my grandma when I was a kid. I'm so shout out. Have you ever taken God's name in vain? No. No, it's good. It's good. Um, this is one that gets me, okay? Jesus says in the Bible, any man that looks at a woman and lusts after her has already committed adultery in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust before? Yes. Right, we're guys, right? That's, that's how we roll. So, so by your own admission, you're lying, thieving, adulterate heart. And if you died today in a car crash, would you be innocent or guilty of breaking God's Ten Commandments? Be guilty. Yeah, we're all guilty. We're all guilty, absolutely. Based on that guilt, would you go to heaven or hell? Uh, hell, does it concern you to go to hell? Yeah. That concerns me. I don't want you to go to hell. That's why I stopped you today. You know, I, I can be at home hanging out with my little kids, but I'm going to talk to people because I love them and care about them. Do you know what God did to go out and go to hell? Yeah. What did he do? Yeah. He died. That's right. right? And I don't know if you, you know that, obviously. He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, that loves you so much. Even though you still sin, he died for us, right? He died on the cross. Took all those sins on himself, and he was buried. And we're again three days later. You know, you know that. That's why we celebrate Easter. And there's only two simple things we have to do to accept that free gift. One is repent of our sins, and all that simply means is turn your back on sin and turn towards Jesus. Give Him your whole life. The second thing is to trust in Jesus. So many Christians and so many people say, "Yeah, I trust in Jesus. I'm a Christian," but they go around dropping the f bomb and telling dirty jokes. I'm talking about real trust. So if you're in an airplane and it's going down. And your partner throws you a parachute, right? It's the only thing that's going to save your life. Are you going to take that parachute and hold it in your hand like this? No. What are you going to do with it? That's what I'm talking about. And that's what Jesus says in the Bible. Put on the boat Jesus Christ. Don't just give him lip service, but really live for him. Really trust him. I kind of like to use this analogy about what Jesus did for us. Let's say you're in a courtroom. What's your name? Abraham. Abraham, I'm John. So the judge says, Abraham, you just got found guilty of murder. You can either pay a million dollar fine or spend the rest of your life in court and prison. And you're like, I'm broke. So they cuff you up, right? And they get me to haul you off of the, out of the courtroom. And someone busts through the back door and says, hey, I got a million bucks. I want to pay Abraham's fine. Set him free. That's what Jesus did on the cross for us. He died to set you free. Does that make sense to you? Awesome. Do you have a Bible at home? No. Oh, um, I don't have one. I wish I could give you one. But, you know, life is so short. You know, none of us know when we're going to die. And I really just encourage you. Do you need a Bible right now? No, well, that's your partner does here. I thought you were going to show him something. That's good stuff, dude. Wow. So is this your friend right here? Yeah. So, hey. So we'll come up with, we'll with the Bible. with the Bible. All right. That's awesome. I thought you were going to show Five. him. That's what I'm talking about. I thought you were going to show him a verse. All the so truth's in here, right? Yeah. So get yourself a Bible. I would give you this one, but I don't want to steal. So, I'll take it. Okay, take it. No, that's this, mine. All the truth is in there. We've been talking about some serious stuff today, right? And your friends want a Christian and seems like that's awesome stuff. And maybe tonight before you head hit the pillow, just get right with God and say a simple prayer. Lord, I want to live for you. Come to my life, forgive me my sins, just whatever. Life is short. And God loves you so much more than anybody else today. So, I really thank you for your time. you have any questions about anything? Okay, I want to pay you for your time. I'll give you a million bucks, okay? Ram, take that out. <laughs> hey, God bless you and thank you.